a major health hazard. Bisphenol A, or BSPA, is a chemical found in many hard plastics that we use every day. Large amounts of bisphenol A are produced each year and present all around us in the environment and in many of the manufactured products. Products that contain bisphenol A include water bottles, baby bottles, dental fillings and sealants, dental devices, medical devices, eyeglass lenses, DVDs and CDs, household electronic items, and sports equipment. It can also be found in epoxy resins that are used to coat the inside of food and drinks cans. It leaches into food and water supplies, and humans are widely exposed to it. Higher doses have been linked to infertility and other health problems. Research has linked bisphenol to fertility problems, male impotence, heart disease and other conditions. Bisphenol is an endocrine disruptor, it can behave in a similar way to estrogen and other hormones in the human body. It imitates the body's hormones, and interfere with the production, secretion, transport, action, function and elimination of natural hormones infants and young children are said to be especially sensitive to the effects of bisphenol A. In 2013, scientists from Brigham and Women's Hospital published findings showing that bisphenol A exposure can affect egg maturation in humans. A review study, published in 2015, found evidence that bisphenol A can interfere with endocrine function involving the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. The researchers suggested that this type of action can affect puberty and ovulation, and lead to infertility. The detrimental effects on reproduction may be lifelong and transgenerational. Male impotence may be affected, according to a study that looked at the effect of men's exposure to bisphenol at work. Findings indicated that high-level exposure may increase the risk of erectile dysfunction and problems with sexual desire and ejaculation. Research has linked even low-dose bisphenol A exposure to cardiovascular problems, including coronary artery disease, angina, heart attack, hypertension, and peripheral artery disease. Findings suggest that this type of exposure could trigger arrhythmias, atherosclerosis, and blood pressure changes. There is evidence that low-level exposure to bisphenol A could contribute to insulin resistance and therefore type 2 diabetes. Less reliable evidence indicates that it may also impact body weight. Environmental exposure to bisphenol A has the potential to affect the developing brain during gestation. The impact includes changes in structural development, interference with estrogen regulation, DNA modifications. This could have effects on social behavior and anxiety after birth. Scientists believe bisphenol A, with its estrogen like behavior, increase the risk of breast, prostate, and other cancers in people who were exposed to bisphenol A in the womb. In 2015, a group of researchers concluded that fetal exposure to bisphenol A could lead to long-lasting effects on the carcinogenesis of certain organs, potentially leading to the development of hormone-related cancers. Scientists have also found that bisphenol A could interfere with the effectiveness of chemotherapy in breast cancer treatment. A systematic review published in 2016 found that exposure to bisphenol A before birth increased the risk of wheezing and asthma, especially if it occurred during the second trimester. One study by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention found bisphenol A in nearly all human urine samples suggesting that exposure is widespread. The CDC note that people are commonly exposed to low levels of bisphenol A when they consume food or water that has been stored in containers made with the chemical. Children may also be exposed by touching items that are made with bisphenol A and then putting their hands in their mouth, or by putting their mouth on the item. Other means of exposure include, having dental sealants that contain bisphenol A. Working in places that manufacture products with bisphenol A in them. Using harsh detergents, high temperature liquids, or products that contain acidic liquids to clean containers. Thermal paper and carbonless paper may also contain varying levels of bisphenol A, which gets onto the hands and fingers. Thermal paper is commonly used in tickets and labels. 
Bisphenol A probably enters the system when the fingers are placed in the mouth, rather than through the skin. A study of 77 Harvard College students found one week of drinking water from polycarbonate bottles increased the levels of bisphenol A in by two-thirds. This suggests that regular consumption of water from such bottles significantly increases exposure to bisphenol A. Bisphenol A is used in infants' feeding bottles, so breastfeeding an infant is likely to reduce levels of bisphenol A exposure. In August 2010, a report by the National Toxicology Program concluded that current levels of bisphenol A raise some concern about the effect on the brain, on behavior, and on the prostate gland in fetuses, infants, and children. Minimal concern about the effect on the mammary gland and early puberty. Negligible concern that bisphenol A exposure will lead to fetal abnormalities, low birth weight, and reproductive problems. While these sources of potential exposure are recognized, a report about the hazards of bisphenol A for the World Health Organization points out that exposure rates in investigations tend to be higher than those estimated to exist in most environments. The United States Food and Drug Administration continues to support the use of bisphenol A in current food packaging, because the amount that leaches into food is small. Some reports say that current levels of bisphenol are low and not a danger to humans. For avoiding exposure include breastfeeding infants and not buying food in plastic packaging. It is difficult to avoid bisphenol because it is so prevalent in the environment, but some tips can help to minimize exposure. Check for a bisphenol free label on foods and packaging. Buy and store foods in glass jars, not plastic. Use fresh frozen, or dried products, not canned. Avoid microwaving foods in plastic containers. Do not wash plastic containers in the dishwasher or use harsh detergents on them. Choose wooden toys instead of plastic. Breastfeed infants as far as possible, instead of bottle feeding one study has suggested that, after just three days of eating a fresh food diet with no products taken from a or plastic packaging, the levels of bisphenol A in participants' bodies fell significantly. Thanking you.